Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to run Tails OS on Linux as a virtual machine. In my example, I'll be using Linux Ubuntu 24.04 as a host, but the instructions I'm gonna show you apply also to other Linux distributions that run on the Debian platform. The way that I'm gonna be running Tails OS on my Linux Ubuntu machine is by installing the NOM boxes virtualization layer and then running Tails on top of the NOM boxes in a non-persistent way. So let me switch to my Ubuntu machine to show you all this. The first step is to download Tails OS ISO from the Tails.net website. So open your web browser and then go to Tails.net. In Tails.net, click on Install Tails. And then here you have something called latest version. Click on it and then scroll approximately to the bottom and you see this is the ISO version of Tails. So click on it and here click on download Tails ISO. It is 1.6 gigabytes, so the download might take a bit to finish. So now the download finished, it's better to verify the downloaded ISO so that to make sure it wasn't tampered with. So click on select your download to verify here and then go to the downloads folder and select the ISO and then click on select. And Tails OS website will verify the ISO. Just wait for it. When it finishes, it will give you the verification successful message. Let's close the web browser. We don't need it anymore. And let's go to files here so that to put the ISO that we just downloaded in a folder that we will not delete in the future. So let's open a new folder under documents and let's create the folder called Tails. And then let's go to the downloads folder and then cut this one from here. This is the ISO file and go back here to Tails and let's paste it here. So let's close the files application now. Now we need to open a terminal window. So press Ctrl Alt T on your Ubuntu machine. Let me make the window a little bigger so that you can see it better here. So on the terminal window, we need first to update our Linux installation. So sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade space minus y and hit enter and put the password for your user and hit enter again and wait for Linux to update and upgrade its current installation. So now our installation of Linux is updated. Let's clear the screen and now we need to install the norm boxes virtualization layer. So key in sudo apt install norm dash boxes and hit enter and then select yes and enter to install it so now num boxes is installed we need to run it so click here and then choose it here so it is called boxes so let's run it and here this is like the help of num boxes i'm gonna close it we don't need it and the next step is to add the iso file that we just downloaded the tails iso file into the num boxes so click on the plus here and then click on install from file and then here browse to the folder where we copied tails os so it is under documents tails and here it is and here simply double click on it so now num boxes will import it into its environment here is giving it two gigabytes of ram this is not enough and on my host i have 32 gigabytes of ram so i'm gonna give it four gigabytes of ram here this is much better so that it will run faster of course, here, depending on how much memory you have on your host, you can give it RAM. And for the storage, it is OK by me. Leave everything else by default and then simply click on Create. And here it is created and it is running it for you now. Just give it a minute to run it. And Tails will ask you what is the language you want, keyboard you want, and formats. And notice that the persistent storage is dimmed and we cannot select it. And this takes me to what I said at the beginning of this video. So the installation I'm showing you here is a non-persistent installation. And in my opinion, this is much more secure because it goes hand in hand with the philosophy of Tails that is called the Amnesiac Incognito Live System. So here, simply to start Tails, click on Start Tails and wait for it to start. It's going to create the Tor network. So here, just select Connect to Tor and then click on connect to Tor so that it will create the circuit for Tor. Now we're gonna test it and then I'm gonna restart it and you're gonna see that it's gonna restart from scratch. So it's gonna delete all the traces that you're gonna do in the operating system. And this is what we want. So let's click on start Tor browser here. 
Of course, you can also start it from the applications on the top left here. And you can also put it on full screen. Let me put it full screen. So this is the icon here for the full screen. And here, for instance, if I go to YouTube, it's gonna open YouTube. And here it is connected to the internet. And here you can click on view Tor circuits to see how you are connected to the Tor network. So this is Tails running. If you wanna go back here to the windowed version, just hover on the top here and click this icon so it goes back to the window version so let me shut it down and restart it so i'm gonna power it off so let me restart from scratch so that to show you everything from the beginning on how to start it so let's restart boxes that is here and then this is the tails operating system so double click on it here to start it and just wait for it it's gonna start automatically and here it is starting and it is of course going to restart everything from scratch and this is every time you're gonna shut down and restart dates it's always gonna restart from a fresh copy and it deletes everything you did in your browsing session if you have any questions or comments let me know in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments and if you got any value from this video please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. And if you want to take it a notch further, you can always join my channel as a member. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.